Hello students, welcome to Ishwari Taniksha channel. This is your Ishwari ma'am. Students, in this video we are going to learn four simple tricks to find bond angle in chemical bonding. So students, first let us study four tricks and then we will see how to apply those tricks in the molecules. So trick number one, if there is no lone pair, then compare hybridization. Second trick is, see here, low, you have to check steric number, SNS steric number, then bonded atoms. So, both are same and lone pair if it is different, so you will apply this formula. That is, more the number of lone pair, bonded angle will decrease. So, in a molecule, if more lone pairs are present, then the bond angle is going to decrease. Third trick will be, steric number bonded atoms are same and also lone pair all these three will be same steric number bonded atom and lone pair if it is same then we will be applying this formula what is that ens electronegativity electronegativity of the central atom if it increases then bonded bond angle also going to increase and here all the four should be same. Steric number, bonded atom, lone pair, central atom. All are same. Then we will be applying this. That is, electronegativity of bonded atom increases. Then bond angle is going to decrease. So let's take example and we will see how to apply these tricks in that example. So first example is, CH4, methane, ammonia, water molecule. So, in this you have to uh, check which has more bond angle and which is having less bond angle. Comparison we are going to do now. So, here you know that methane doesn't have any lone pair and ammonia will be ha having one lone pair and water molecule two lone pairs will be present. So, we cannot use first trick because if there is no lone pair, we are going to use this. Here, lone pairs are present. Second trick, steric number should be same, bonded atom should be same, lone pair should be different. So, here we can see lone pairs are different. Here, number of lone pair is 0. So, here, number of lone pair is 0 and here, number of lone pair is 1 and here, number of lone pair is 2. So, now we have to check steric number. Steric number students I have taught you in the last video. If you have not checked you can go through it once. Anyway I am going to teach you once again here. So that is how to find out steric number is. Steric number is equal to number of bonded atoms here. So here bonded atoms are 4 plus lone pair. Lone pair in methane is 0. So this is equal to 4. For ammonia, steric number is equal to bonded atom 3 plus lone pair is 1. So, this is equal to 4, steric number 4. For water molecule, steric number is equal to bonded atoms. 2 oxygen, 2 hydrogens are bonded. So, 2 bonded atom plus 2 lone pairs. So, this is equal to 4. So, you can see steric number is same for all the molecule. So, second trick, steric number same, uh, then bonded atom should be same. So, here bonded atoms are also same. So, here bonded atom is hydrogen, here also bonded atoms are hydrogen, here also bonded atoms are hydrogen. So, bonded atoms are also same and lone pairs are different. So, we can use second trick. That is, if lone pair increases, bond angle will decrease. So, you can see here, lone pair is more. So, bond angle will be less here. So, here bond angle will be less. And here bond angle will be more. So, you can write like this. So, this is having more bond angle compared to ammonia and then compared to water. So, this is the order of bond angle. We will use second example. Now, we will see second example. Again, methane is given, BF3 is given and BeCl2 is given. So, you know that in this molecule, uh, lone pairs are not present. 
so therefore we can use first trick if there is no lone pair then we have to compare hybridization so here you can see methane will be having sp3 hybridization bf3 will have sp2 hybridization and becl2 will be having sp hybridization so if you know hybridization you will be knowing the bond angle isn't it for sp3 bond angle will be 109 degree and then for sp2 120 degree and then sp linear so it will be 180 degree so where the bond angle is more so 180 degree so this is having more bond angle compared to this then this one so this is we are using first trick so we'll take one more example so we are going to use this example now nh3 ammonia and ph3 okay so in this we are going to compare the bond angle so in this if you check ammonia will be having one lone pair and even phosphorus will be having one lone pair so now let us see which uh, this one we are going to use which trick we are going to use so we will see steric number first so steric number for ammonia is bonded atoms 3 plus lone pair 1 so total 4 and here steric number bonded atom 4 lone pair sorry bonded atom 3 lone pair 1 so steric number is equal to 4 so steric number same and then bonded atoms hydrogen bonded atom hydrogen so bonded atoms are also same lone pair 1 lone pair 1 so lone pair is also same so which one we can use then see here steric number same bonded atom same lone pair same and then but here central atom is different central atom is nitrogen here and central atom is phosphorus here so central atoms are different we are going to check electronegativity of central atom so electronegativity of central atom if it increases then bond angle will increase so here between nitrogen and phosphorus nitrogen will be having nitrogen has more electronegativity when compared to phosphorus this we should remember therefore if electronegativity of central atom increases then bond angle also increases so this will be having more bond angle when compared to this one so you will write like this ammonia has more bond angle than ph2 so we'll go for next example so next example is nf3 and ncl3 so here steric number we will check again so st uh, here again one lone pair and here one lone pair on nitrogen so steric number is equal to bonded atom is 3 plus lone pair 1 so total 4 steric number bonded atom 3 lone pair 1 so 4 so here steric number is same lone pair 1 lone pair 1 lone pair is also same bonded atom is here f and bonded atom here it is chlorine bonded atoms are so here bonded atoms are different fluorine and here it is chlorine so here bonded atoms this take it as different not same this is different so bonded atoms are different lone pair same so lone pair is same and central atom is same central atom is nitrogen here so this is nitrogen is central atom central atom and here also nitrogen is the central atom so central atom is also same so then what you are going to check is electronegativity of bonded atom so uh, if electronegativity of bonded atom increases then bond angle will decrease so here you can see that between fluorine and chlorine electronegativity of fluorine will be greater than chlorine therefore if electronegativity of bonded atom increases then bond angle will decrease of that molecule so therefore you can see here bond angle of this will decrease because electronegativity of f is more so therefore you can write here as nf3 will be having 
less bond angle when compared to this so you will be writing symbol like this so this is about using four tricks we can easily find out or compare the bond angle between the molecules so students i hope this trick will be very useful to you and if you have any doubts you can write in the comment box so students uh, like the video and share with your friends i'll meet you in the next video students bye bye